Welcome back to the National Wrestling League. Oh, and we're up for a, a, a treat here, Scott, in your eyes at least. Here we go. Here comes the Mob oh, Magno, the Dakota man. Draper. The man everybody came to see. All six feet five inches of the Mile House Magnum, Dakota Draper. And Dakota Draper really prides himself as a ladies' man. He says that he can get any lady right from out, out from underneath you. Well, I, let me tell you something. I would never leave my wife alone with Dak Draper. I can assure you that. I mean, Dak Draper looks like he's going to give his, his uh, sunglasses to a, a fan in the nah. audience. <laughs> what a, what a, nah, 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 what a nah, real nah, piece nah. of work this guy is. He's 6'5", 245 pounds. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a specimen of an athlete, but well, I mean. He's 6'5", but according to the ladies, he's worth the climb, if you know what I mean. Hey, he is here to be a superstar in the NWL. Oh, he's got to put his shades back all right. on, of course. Listen up, all you Kansas City sweat hogs. Yeah! Listen up, man. My name is Dak Draper, but you can call me the Mile High Magnum. He's so arrogant. Yeah, you boo me because you know it's true. I'm the guy that every man wishes that he could be, and every woman wishes that she could be with. And that's, I, 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 I sort of wish I could be like you. And I look out here at all of you, and I feel one emotion. Disgust. Really trying to... Separating I myself mean, from people like you is point? the reason that I work out. Listen, what, what, you know, while I'm on it, I'm going to give you the opportunity. Nope. I'm gonna give you the privilege yes. to see a day in the gym with Dak Draper. Ah. Oh boy, well, this is a real go. treat. Maybe you'll learn something here, Ben. Georgia. Kerry. Amy. Look at those biceps. Rebecca again. It is absolute perfect form. Stephanie. Is he naming off his conquest? Give me a break. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Sarah. Yeah. I mean, do you have some sort of man crush on you know, this guy? No, six five. Nah, I just think he's really cool. Handsome, super likable. You live your life by your own set of rules. That's right. Hey, Dad, That's you right. Your set? <laughs> I haven't broken a sweat in years. The faint broke. Don't fix it. That's true. That's true. Somebody will get that. My whole life, I've done whatever I want, whenever I want, wherever I want. I wonder if anybody's going to cut or come out and shut pounds? the mouth of. Uh, you could do that when I was 11. Uh, the Mile High Magnum. Well, I mean, I've had life enough of this already. Well, if you would care to volunteer, go right ahead, Ben. Blue collar worker. You're talking really brave over here from the announce desk. Dirty dumb jock. Look at him just oh, showing utter true. disrespect in this video, just throwing people's Ooh. stuff on the ground. Well, so what? It's more like it. He's 6'5", he can do whatever he wants. And that's the jacket he wore to the ring, obviously yeah. stole from somebody. My name is Dak. Real Green. nice guy there. The Mile High Magnum. Now see, he's the man that everybody wants to be, to do exactly what you want, whenever you want, and play by your own rules. It looks like he's having a little bit of my trouble with that. I mean, that's that, that's, that kind of stuff can happen. I wish somebody would cut your mic. You know what, they don't, they don't even deserve to hear that Draper. It looks like he's calling out all the people here in Kansas City. Someone needs to come yeah, out here and shut yeah, the guy Yeah, well, out. Ben, why don't you get in there? I am not a wrestler. Yeah. You're not a commentator either, but that's not stopping you. Oh, here we go. Jordan Castle, the young upstart. Who? Who? Jordan Castle. Never heard of him. Young upstart from right here in Kansas City, Missouri. Looks like he's answering Dak Draper's My challenge. Goodness. This guy, this guy looks like Chris Jericho circa 1995 WCW. 
Well, if he's got the talent of Chris Jericho, well, you, Zach Draper could be in a world of hurt here. Well, you think he's got a lion heart? Is that what you're saying? And it looks like we got a match here between jo Jordan Castle and Dak Draper. Dak trying for the attack early, misses two clotheslines wildly. Nice kick to the side by Jordan Castle. Oh! oh woo! Reverse elbow right into the face of Jordan Castle. There we go. Putting the boots to the young upstart. Oh! You know, Dak Draper, you better remind God, me a little bit of... right in the ribs. Reminds me a little bit of Rick Rude, Guido Hernandez, Austin Idol. All these guys that just had such confidence that they, the one thing they could always back it up. I mean, he's putting a beating on Jordan Castle right now. With Jordan Castle to the far side. Hauls him up. Looks like he might be going for a backdrop. Oh, beautiful spinning belly to back suplex. Driving the young guy right into the canvas. Now showing all the ladies what That's he right. thinks they want to see. He's making Two. a... He's making oh, a Denver he, omelet out of this guy. He could have finished the match right there, but instead pulls the young kid off the mat. Well, the, the fans have paid good money to see Dak Draper. They've been waiting for months and months to see this national superstar. He's just giving them their money's worth. Looks like he's applying a chin lock here, trying to maybe add a little insult to injury to the rookie. Jordan Castle not really getting out of the gate so far. There we go, a couple elbows in the midsection. Clubbing for him right to the back of Jordan Castle. Oh! Nice. He just ran him almost over at the forearm. I mean, he would have fallen out of the ring. Looks like uh, Dak yeah, might be Dak, going. But Dak caught him he, like the sportsman that he is. Looks like he's going for a big choke slam here. Oh, just drives him into the mat with the choke slam. This is it. One, two. Oh! Come on. Well, I, I have to say, Jordan is showing me a lot. That was an impressive kick out right there. I don't think Dak lifted him up. I think I think Jordan actually showed a little bit of heart there. He kicked out. I mean, he could have put the young guy away. He oh, should I don't have know. just taken the three count. The kid is obviously finished. I mean, Dak is just gloating at this point. There's oh, look at this! Surprise! Oh. Up. One, two! Oh! And Dak did not like it. There we go. Clotheslined him right out of his boots. I mean, you, I could feel that over here. That was a scintillating clothesline. And here it is, the five, two, eight, oh. bam. That's it. It's all academic. And Dak Draper puts away the young Jordan Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. Yes. I mean, look at him. He's celebrating like he just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean. Well, I have to say, I think he's the odds-on favorite to win the KC Championship. And I also think that he could go on to win the league championship. I think this guy's arrogance maybe is undoing, but let me tell you something. That was an impressive victory. And again, wins and losses man, uh, are what matters here in the National Wrestling League. One thing I like about Dak Draper, he comes from Denver, so he doesn't care about this St. Louis KC robbery. He's focused on one thing, and that's winning championships. I mean, he's gloating still in the well, ring. Of course I mean, he is. I, I, I mean, let's see if he faces another someone else on the Kansas City roster that could put up more of a fight than Jordan Castle, and we'll see if he can celebrate this way. Next time, right here on the National Wrestling League. Good night, everybody.